If you are a parent, you know the struggle of handing your phone to a toddler and hoping they don't exit the app or swipe away that video. This app called Toddler Lock or Kid Lock is a lightweight Android utility designed specifically for parents who occasionally hand their phones to toddlers. You know, instead of risking accidental taps or your child exiting a video midway, the app places a non-invasive overlay that disables the home, back and recent buttons. It doesn't modify any system behavior or require deep settings changes. Once you turn it off, your phone goes back to normal. The interface is clean and straightforward, and it's built to be quick and usable without needing extra configuration. You can tap the button five times to disable the lock. You can simply pause it from the notification panel as well. Plus, you can customize the size and color of the button as well as the transparency. The app doesn't collect personal data, nor does it ask for access to your location, microphone or camera. It's kind of balancing usability and privacy. All preferences are stored locally, and if you need longer timer durations, there is a one-time unlock with no ads or subscriptions involved. It's a thoughtful, well-executed application that quietly solves a real-world problem. Next, QR Beam is a fast, ad-free QR and barcode scanner built for Android users who value simplicity and offline reliability. It supports scanning through your device's camera or directly from images in your gallery and it covers a wide range of formats including QR, EAN, ISBN, data matrix, and standard barcodes. Everything you scan is automatically saved in your history, so there is no need to worry about losing past codes. The app's clean interface makes all of this feel seamless with zero ads or interruptions to slow things down. And beyond scanning, QR Beam also doubles as a QR code generator. You can quickly generate codes for text, links, Wi-Fi logins, or contact details right from within the same interface. It is lightweight, completely free, and doesn't rely on any internet connection, making it a reliable tool whether you are verifying product barcodes or sharing your contact information with just a tab. It is free to install, so check it out if it's an application you think you can use. We know tabs and charts and extra features are all necessary in finance tracking, but Wallet Tracker is a refreshingly simple finance application designed to make expense tracking fast and approachable. It focuses on quick login and clear visuals. You can add income and expenses in just a couple of tabs, and the standout heat map feature gives you a clean, color-coded view of your spending patterns over time. It's especially helpful for identifying habits at a glance without having to dig through numbers. The app also supports recurring transactions, so things like rent or your salary get logged automatically. Customization is a strong point also. You can manage categories by modifying the defaults or adding your own. There is also optional pin protection to keep your data private and built-in import and export options using CSV, which makes it easy to back up things or analyze them anywhere else. You get a clear running balance right on your home screen real-time insights, and zero ads or subscriptions. So if you love finance tracking applications without the whole lot of complications and extra features, here is a simple one for you. We are still on a simple application that just works, and Material Player is another sleek, purpose-built video player for Android that sticks to the basics and executes them flawlessly. The app embraces Material U, so everything from the interface to color theming feels native on modern Android. It supports major formats like MP4, MKV, AVI, and more, all handled with smooth and stutter-free playback. And what really stands out is the ability to consume video as audio only. And you can do that with just one tap. And this could really come in handy. There's also gesture-based control system, you know, for the volume, brightness, and other stuff like that. It's quick, accurate, and keeps the interface clean. Subtitle support is also built in with compatibility for popular formats like SRT, ESS, and VTT. You can tweak things like font size, color, and position, which is helpful for accessibility or just personal comfort. You get picture-in-picture -picture mode that works well if you are multitasking, and there is also a screen lock to prevent accidental touches during playback. The app has everything necessary for a video player on your phone, plus it is totally free with no ads, and has a clean modern UI. And then we have Resume AI, which is one of the most polished, full-featured resume builders you will find on Android. And let me first mention that it is completely free, no ads, no hidden paywalls, and no watermarks on your final document. The app offers over 40 professionally designed templates ranging from sleek, 
modern layouts for tech roles to academic and corporate ready designs. All templates are ATS friendly, so your resume won't get filtered out by automated screening systems. You can build your resume from scratch or import an existing one with support for everything from work history and skills to references and certifications. The mobile layout is clean, editable, and built for speed, making it ideal whether you are creating your first resume or updating after a few years. And where this application really shines is its built-in writing assistant. You get real-time previews, the ability to export in high-quality PDF or Word-compatible formats, and support for multi-page sizes like A4 and US letter. There's even cloud sync and draft saving for users building across the devices. It's actually rare to see a free application this capable and cleanly designed, so check it out if you think you could use the services of this application. So there is this clean little Pomodoro Time application I've been trying out, and it's open source. It is called Tomato, and it's probably the most minimal yet thoughtfully designed time application I've used in a while. There is no clutter, no ads, just a full-cost experience built around productivity. And the UI is built entirely on Material 3 Expressive, which means everything looks modern, smooth, and very Android native. As if you're someone who cares about clean design and consistency, this app nails that. It is super minimal, but not in a way that strips out useful features. Right on the home screen, you get a quick look at how much you worked or studied today. And then if you dive into the start section, you'll find some really clean graphs that break down your productivity over the last week or month. And it even tells you what times of the day you've been the most productive, something a lot of Pomodoro time applications just skip entirely. Timer settings are customizable too, and so if the classic 25 focus time and 5 minutes break time Pomodoro structure isn't your thing, you can tweak it to fit your workflow however it suits you. Whether that's longer focus blocks or short bursts, the app lets you adjust things without making it complicated. And with the app being open source, there is also that added benefit of transparency, no ads, no data collection, and no hidden fees. And so if you're looking for a serious, no-nonsense Pomodoro timer that respects your time and your data, Tomato is a solid choice. If you are into habit tracking, Grit is a free and open source application that combines two core productivity features, task management and habit tracking, into a unified, well-designed package. It keeps things simple but not basic, and adds just enough polish through its use of Google's Material 3 design to make everything feel cohesive with the rest of the Android experience. On the task side, the app includes a to-do list system that supports category-based organization, and this is useful if you like separating different areas of your life, say personal, work, and fitness goals, without needing multiple applications. For habits, the application includes a tracker that supports scheduled reminders, which is key to staying consistent. But instead of stopping at simple streaks or counters, the app introduces a habit map. This map gives you a visual breakdown of your progress over time, letting you actually see how your habits are shaping up day by day. There are also home screen widgets, making it easy to check off tasks or monitor habits without opening the application. It's a small quality of life feature, but adds convenience and keeps your goals front and center. And everything is wrapped in a Material 3 UI, which brings clean lines, smooth transitions, and system-level consistency across devices. And so if you're looking for a focused, to-do and habit application that respects good design, doesn't get in your way and lets you visualize real progress, Grit checks all the right boxes. Moving on to the next application, Momentum is a new open-source habit tracker for Android that just gets the fundamentals right. It is a habit tracking application, sure, we've seen a bunch of those, but this one is open-source beautifully designed and actually packed with features you would expect without getting bloated. And right from the jump, you can add, edit, or delete your daily habits with almost zero friction. The UI is simple and straight to the point, but still looks good. Nothing feels overly complicated or buried in weird menus. There's a calendar view built in too, so you can visually track how consistent you've been. And if you're someone who gets motivated by seeing that streak build up, that is where this application really shines. And speaking of streaks, there is also a home screen widget that displays your current streak. It's kind of subtle but goes a long way. And one thing that is cool and not something you usually see in open source habit tracking applications is the built-in AI assistant. It is powered by Mistral API and gives you habit suggestions and motivational prompts. So even if you're not sure what kind of habits to build, the application can guide you build a habit. 
Security wise, it has full authentication with login and registration and everything works offline too. So your habits and data stays local and accessible even when you are not connected. All in all, Momentum does everything it needs to. It actually is very simple and basic. Jumping into a fully packed utility application, Toolbox is free and open source and actually lives up to its name in the most literal way possible. It bundles together a wide array of utilities, everything from everyday essentials to more technical tools, into a single lightweight Android application. And instead of relying on separate installs, everything runs out of the box. And seriously, the utility list is long here. You get obvious ones like stopwatch, timer, compass, clock, speedometer, but also more specialized features like an area calculator, bitwise calculator, and a base converter. And it also supports text manipulation tools like text counter, difference checker, and a full text-to-speech engine. And for users who need to deal with data, networking, or coding-related tasks, there is even more packed in. You get QR code reader and generator, UUID generator, file encryption, HTTP request tools, ping, and more. There is also support for SSH connections, making it useful for developers or system administrators on the go. The app also leans into creative and niche utilities. It includes a whiteboard for sketching and a Morse code tool, a music analyzer and search engine, even a national anthem player. Imagine that. And also a YouTube thumbnail downloader. There's also fun stuff like roulette spinner, coin flipper, random number and color generators, and a version of Conway's Game of Life. And all of this, wrapped up in an open source package with zero ads or trackers, is actually a privacy respecting one-stop application for a wide range of tasks, perfect for users who like having everything in one place, or those who prefer minimal app installs without sacrificing functionality. And so if you're the type of Android user who values versatility and control, this app is a smart addition to your home screen. Definitely not the flashiest in app design or animations, but in terms of pure utility, it is hard to beat. Alright, so if you are the kind of Android user who loves to dig under the hood, tweaking applications and managing every bit of your phone manually, then check out Thor App Manager. This app is open source and it's one of the most lightweight but powerful app managers I've seen. We are talking under 2 megabytes in size and still somehow packed with more controls than most of the bloated alternatives out there. You get batch control over your applications, meaning you can install, uninstall, freeze or even kill multiple applications at once. And if you're rooted, you can take things even further, freeze or unfreeze system applications, use experimental tools like editing your packages.xml and manage your system at level most applications won't even touch. The UI is smooth thanks to Jetpack Compose and the app just feels fast. Everything is organized smartly. You can filter applications by their source, installation status, type and even detect split APKs. So if you are side loading a lot or managing applications across multiple devices, this gives you the surgical control you are probably looking for. One-click actions are also built in. You can share APKs, launch specific activities inside applications, reinstall applications directly through the Google Play Store and more. And what's exciting, this application has more to offer. Features like application data backup and restore, advanced packages.xml editing, batch APK installation, and even a usage stats dashboard all on the roadmap. And through all this, the application remains private, no trackers or analytics. So if you're someone who frequently manages your applications, likes to tweak your system, or just prefer full transparency and fine-grained control, this app definitely deserves a spot on your phone. So there you have it, some awesome tools you cannot forego, and of course they are all fairly new, simple and easy to use, and delivers useful services. So let me know which one you are interested to check out, and if you enjoyed the video, kindly consider subscribing to the channel, and leave a like on the video as well, and as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.